What is going on, my LS crazed amigos? It's your boy Terry speaking from the garage shop once again. Here to offer you some more big bang for your buck product and info. How y'all guys doing? Check it out. I get a lot of email, and I want to thank you. First of all, I want to thank every one of you guys who sent me email. Please keep them coming. I appreciate all the love. Keep it coming, and I will do my best. I do my best to try to answer every question. But the most common question that I've been getting lately is like after seeing a video, a lot of people been asking me. What is that little black can thing that's in front of the engine? Very simple. It's a catch can. Now, if you don't know what a catch can is, this is what it looks like. And this is the catch can. It's got an inlet for the oil to go in, an outlet for fresh air to go out, back into the intake, and it's got a little pet cock for the drain. It's like a little drain plug that you find on a radiator. And this is the reservoir where the oil gets caught. Hence the name catch can. The, the, the geniuses at GM, they found a way to take that oil that the, the, the top of the valley pan cover will capture and redirect back into the intake, which in turn will go back into the engine. The problem with it is, is that it goes back into the engine, but it also leaves the intake, the inside of the intake, a little oily. So what a catch can does is, I'll show you. What the catch can does is it takes the spout. You got to have a spout on your cover, on your uh, what's called valley cover. It has like a little spout that sticks out. It goes from out here. It goes into the catch can, which the oil and everything drops down into here. And then fresh air, or should I say air, will come into the intake. And it will no longer, mm -mm, you won't ever have any more oil going into your intake. And to grime it up and, and make it look all kinds of nasty inside. So... That's what a catch can does, and this is the catch can right here. Now, I know some of you guys are probably saying, well, Terry, do I really need a catch can? So, we're going to find out. I'm going to drain it right now. Little drain plugs on the bottom, and I'm going to drain it. And proof is in the pudding. Close it back up. Make sure you close it back up. It's got like a little, these little butterfly opening and closing like, like you would find on a radiator. But there we go. Now see, this is after maybe a few hours of use with the car, maybe I would say five hours of use, if that. So, proof is in the pudding. You may not think you might need one, might not need one, but like I said, I have them installed on all my LSO cars. So, you can make a decision for yourself, but I would definitely get one. And you can get them from the WS6 store. That's right. Well, looking at the clock on the wall, or should I say on the ceiling, it's time for me to head on out and do some work on some of these, some more of these Ellis equipped cars that I love, you love, we all love. Again, thanks for all the love. Stay tuned for some more videos coming from me. Hope you like them, hope you enjoy them, hopefully they help you out. And until the next time we meet, as always, be easy and we'll talk again. Take care and have a good night.